First, let's take a look and see what's new in the world of Norath. Here's our review of EverQuest 2 Rise of Kunark. The problem with being an early success in anything is that you're basically writing a blueprint for some other guy to come along and do it better. And he always does. The sad truth is, even though it's part of a series that paved part of the way for online three-dimensional MMOs, it's hard not to compare EverQuest 2 Rise of Kunark to, uh, you know, that other MMO. World of Warcraft. No! But what if we put that aside? Does EverQuest hold up in the harsh light of criticism free from comparison? The game itself doesn't look bad necessarily. In fact, even the lower level areas have some interesting visual depth. The problem is it's not consistent. Certain areas will impress, while others, well... No! One area this game does excel in is character options. With subtle tweaks available not only to physical but also species traits, by the time you're done, you should have an exact replica of that guy you drew in every single notebook you owned in high school. Oh, the adventures you two had. If you're wondering where you can locate a voracious beast to slay within the confines of EverQuest 2, the answer is, where can't you? The game is overflowing with all manner of creatures to encounter and promptly or not so promptly dispatch of. True, these are denizens of higher level areas, but there's fun for newbies too. All in all, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Fans and EverQuest patrons will appreciate the fact that Rise of Kunark comes crammed with every expansion pack ever offered for it, as well as higher level caps and new areas to raid and explore. It's probably worth your time, but if you're not already invested in the series, eh. Well, I'll leave it up to you. No! EverQuest 2 Rise of Kunark gets a 3 out of 5.